Uh, I've done 500 miles now and notice that um, at Tickover it's becoming a lot less smooth than it was when it was originally set up. Uh, My friend Richard had come up with his airflow meter and colour tune plug and helped me set it up. So I've borrowed those and I'm going to have another go. Um, so I've made a few changes since it was first on the road. I've shot on the accelerator cable because uh, it was when the bonnet was closed it was tending to um, interfere with it so that, and also I've changed components in the distributor um, so I'll just start it up this is cold I'm going to let it get hot but you'll hear how low the tick over speed is if I increase the tick over speed when it's cold it's then too fast when it's hot so here we go I'll just start it up <coughs> So if we believe the rev counter, that's something like 500 revs per minute, but when it's hot it's something like 1200, so it wouldn't normally be that different, it certainly wasn't when it was first set up. So. I'm just going to get it warm, hot, and then I'll show you how I set it up. see it's not so smooth, but the engine's moving quite a lot sideways, so I'll just rev it a little bit. Maybe you saw that. So I'm going to take the air box cover off and I'm going to just check the airflow in the carbs to see the tax. The airflow meter I've got and you push it into the trumpet on each carb um, and measure. And hopefully the pairs, so each carburetor will be balanced. Um, if they're not, then it means the shaft in the carburetor holding the butterflies might be belt, bent. Anyway, these were all balanced per carb before and we balanced them obviously together. So um, let's see what happens. Okay, let's start it. Somewhere between three and a half and four. Just about three and a half. Just over two and a half. Just over two and a half. This is the adjustment here. That's the screw. I can adjust and you can see it will affect the position of the relative position of these two brackets which are fixed on the ends of each of the shafts of each carburetor. So the fact that this has less airflow would suggest that I need to open them a little bit which will mean um, rotating this clockwise I think. So I will do that with the airflow meter in one of these trumpets. So about two and a half. And you can immediately hear it sound better. So that's about three and a half. A bit tricky in this end run. So is it getting an accurate reading? Three and a half. Maybe between three and a half and four. Three and a half and four. And a half four. Four. Just over three and a half. 
just done before about four. So definitely needed doing. Interesting that they're not perfectly balanced in each carb and I'm pretty sure they were closer than that before. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that at the moment so I'll just set the tick over speed next and this is the tick over screw. It basically pushes down on this bracket um, on the end of that spindle so it adjusts the stop position and that's how we can adjust the tick over. So I'm only going to use the rev counter um, so I hope the rev counter is fairly accurate. Get the um, airbox cover on back on and then we'll have a look at the sparks to see if the um, tick over mixture needs adjusting. I've put a colour tune plug in um, which has um, a glass top on whether it's quartz or, or a silicate, I don't know, but anyway, you can see inside the cylinder when it's firing, um, which allows you to adjust the mixture at tick over. So this is the adjustment screw for tick over. You can't adjust it at any other revs because it's all fixed jets and emulsion tubes so you need to change those if you want to do all that. But the one thing I can fiddle with is the mixture at tick over. And my understanding is it should be going from a orange yellow to a blue colour so it's that transition between the two at tick over. And I hope I'm right. So I'll attempt to get some video of this um, by holding the camera here. We'll see what happens. So I'm screwing in at the moment. That's closing it to more blue start. I'm coming out now. And there we are. Just transitioning to an orange star. So I've done all four plugs with the colour tune, so it should be reasonably similar. Um, so I'll just start it up and see what it sounds like on tick over. I might have to adjust the tick over speed again now I've done all that. about 900 RPM according to the red counter. So, next day it's cold again, the engine's cold again, so I'm just going to start it up now, see how it behaves, see what the tick is like when it's cold, and then I'll get it hot again and I'm going to adjust the timing chain which is a bit rattly. Um, just to take a bit of the slack up. Okay, so let's see what happens. So I'll give it two pumps of the throttle. So 
Well, that was settling down at about 700, so better than yesterday. Still cold, obviously. So I'll get it warm and then adjust the timing chain. See what it's like. It's warm now. Uh, I've just adjusted the timing chain just to get rid of a bit of the rattle. So let's see what it's like uh, now it's warm. Definitely smoother than it was. 